and the Poker Stars Championship. Day four continues from the Sortis Hotel Spa and Casino in Panama City. Uh, we lost seven players during the first level, which means 23 are coming back from break as we aspire to get towards the final 16 here on day four. It's James Hartigan alongside Matt Browson. Hello, everybody. Happy day four. And we still have the chip leader on the main stage, James Salmon, who came into play as the big stack, still has more than a million chips, 1.15 million to be precise. Uh, there are a few shorties in the field as well, including Fabrice de Benedictus, the last remaining spin and go qualifier. He's got 13 bigs now that we've moved to 5,000, 10,000 with a 1,000 ante. Level 19 getting underway. Joe's going to be devastated the way this schedule has worked out because this is where he really excels when it comes to the, the keeping on top of who has how many big blinds. We'll just have to do our best yeah. without yeah. him, to be honest. So three tables in play at the moment. I talked about us wanting to get to 16. I don't know if you heard earlier on that about the plan for today. We will either play four levels okay. or down to 16, but right. we need to play at least three full levels. So say we hit 16 during that third level, uh, yeah. we will have the redraw for the final two tables and we will play on till the end of that level. So at the very least, we will get to the end of level 20 today. Makes sense. And then that sets us up where we want to be for tomorrow, exactly, I guess. Exactly, as we play down to the final six. And then on Monday, we play down to a winner. Someone will walk away with the PokerStars Championship Main Event Trophy and that first prize of nearly $300,000. Players back in their seats. Cards are in the air. It's always seemed like a very strange phrase, like shuffle up and deal makes entire sense, but cards being up in the air, like everyone involved here is trying all the time to make sure that that's exactly the opposite of what happens. I wonder why we've decided to use that phrase. The Benedictus all in, happy to be back from the break so he can get his chips in the middle of the table. So he shoved from the hijack position. Action on Kenneth Smarin from the US, who is in the cutoff. Everyone now guaranteed $16,000. There was a money jump when we got to 23. The next money jump will be when we get down to 15. Marin folds to the shove. Action is on Gary on the button. Gary. Hello, by the way, to everyone saying hello to me. Don't forget, I'm keeping, keeping an eye on twitch.tv slash Pokestars and hashtag Pokestars TV on Twitter. Come say hello. Jarkashevsky verifying the size of the all-in, and I think he is calling, which will put... The Benedictus at risk. We've still got the blinds to act. They've both passed, so showdown time. Ace Jack of Hearts, the hand for Yaroshevsky. Pocket nines, the hand for Fabrice de Benedictus. Another classic race underway at the feature table. De Benedictus needs his pair to hold. Been a fair few classic races. Good to see we're keeping the, uh, the quota fully ticked off. Just going nine, 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 nine. Come on, come on, hit me with a nine, hit me with a nine. Just, just make this safe. <laughs> no nine, also no ace or jack. However, the king and the queen do give Yaroshevsky a straight draw. So now tens, jacks and aces are all working for him. Ten cards for De, De Benedictus to avoid, to swerve. Turn card is a five. That's a safe one. He'd like another one like that. A ten, a jack, an ace eliminates him. Any other card, he doubles up and survives. Such a horrible spot. You're just sitting helpless. You've done as hard as you can. You've 
Done your very best. Now you're just sitting there praying. Boom, seven on the river. He gets the double up. And the alarm technician from Switzerland is back in the game. In this tournament for $10 via a spin and go, guaranteed at least 16 grand. Wow. Hello to Alex Bays, who asks for the free roll password. There are still spaces available in the game. In fact, there are around 10,000 seats still available in the free roll. <laughs> the password's on the screen right now. It is Bruce Chen, who we learned earlier is a Panamanian baseball professional, or rather was. Bruce Chen, B-R-U-C-E-C-H-E-N. Bruce Chen will get you into today's game. Obviously, we're keeping tabs on the major action on the two outer tables. We still mm -hmm. have MMA superstar Tito Ortiz in the field. Yeah, i got to say, slightly disappointed we're not staring at him right now. But I will take Igor Yoshevsky just as a kind of a backup. Gary has folded. Action on the button. Arunas Snapitavikius. It's sad to see that James Smokey Sammons dispatched the trademark hat. I don't know whether you were watching earlier on, Matt, but there was a conversation between Salmon and Abdel Latif where basically Jonathan was telling our smoked friend mm. about the debacle that happened at the end of the Oscars and Joe and I were quite surprised that there is a single human being on the planet who hadn't heard of that already. Wow. Wow, that is something that's not easy to, to avoid. So Wait until he finds out about Brexit, James. <laughs> <laughs> so the raise from the button is 22,000. Salmon with the decision in the small blind. Don't think this is going to be a call. I think you are right, sir. Remember, the yellows are 25,000, blues are 5,000, reds are 1,000. This is a three bet from Salmon. Viard has folded the big. Action back on Arunas. He's got around 370k behind. Would have the advantage of position on the flop, but do you really want to be calling three bets out of a 35 big blind stack? Nice, very committing, which I'm sure James Salmon is aware. Good pressure. Chip leader up to nearly 1.2 million now, closing in on the 120 big blind mark. Meanwhile, there has been a calamity at one of the two outer tables. And it's a calamity for this guy, Andres Carrillo, who's just been eliminated in 23rd place, taking us down to 22. Yeah, we saw him on our featured table for a while yesterday. Solid, solid performance, solid result. Solid cash. Shout out to Guti on Twitter. It says, greetings from the Dominican Republic. Mm -hmm. And he wants to offer his shout out to Alberto Matias Moran, who is the last remaining Dominican player in the field. Nice. Under the gun race from our spin and go qualifier. I love it when the spin and go guys go deep. I, I don't know why it makes such a big difference to me. I just think if that was me, I would just I would be having to try all the time to not clap my hands together with glee at just being here. 
Viard moves all in from the small blind. He is now the shortest stack at the table, 240k. 24 bigs. And looks like everyone else has folded, so back on De Benedictus. It's a healthy percentage. In fact, it's pretty wow. much all of his chips, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, he would have a little behind, but it's such a tournament-defining move. Gives it up. Fiat up to 28 big blinds now. A bit more comfortable. Had his tournament life on the line in the last level. I want a beautiful hat. A beautiful, beautiful hat. So we are seeing things even out slightly. Average stack right now is 50 big blinds. No one at our feature table has fewer than 25 big blinds. No one in the danger zone? I don't really know what to do to that, actually. I'm thinking about it. It's like if no one's in it, you can't really sing it. You can't really Yeah. I, I, I thought about it. For, for I was in the tank there for a good four seconds, and I realized that probably the best thing to do is just to look at you and not make any noise. Well, this has been raised under the gun by Kenneth Smaron. Folded around to the blinds. Just Fabrice in the big. Very aggressive chip ruffling going on there. Our table has taken a real pounding in the last 48 hours. That's a call. We're going to see a flop. 56k up for grabs. Queen 10 6 with two hearts. Benedictus checks the action to the pre flop aggressor. I'd say that Samaran has been one of, if not the most active player at this feature table. Hovering around the 40 big blind mark at the moment. He has continued this flop for 20,000. Job done. Being asked by Frob on Twitch, where on earth is the free roll? My tip for the top, the simplest way to find it, head to the lobby and go to the tournaments tab. And then you'll see there's a little search box. If you turn off all your filters, that's the key bit. Yes. You can just type in TV. And you the game will appear. Yeah, you'll see, in fact, all five of the free rolls. You'll see the two completed, the one registering. Still one more tomorrow. And then on our final day of broadcast on the 20th on Monday, another chance to catch, apart from the prize pool, 100 bucks on myself, Waster, J. Hartigan, and Joe Stapleton. I'm glad you mentioned the filters, Matt, because that is something that people often miss. If yeah. you've got filter switched on, it won't come up. So switch the filters off, search TV in the little search box, and you will find the games. Bish, bosh, bash, simple as. Obviously, this is all assuming that you already have downloaded the PokerStars client and signed up to the site and have a PokerStars account. If not, that's incredibly simple as well. Just download from PokerStars.com, sign up. You don't have to make a deposit. Yeah, when we say go to the lobby, if you're in a hotel, we don't mean walk into a lobby. Like, no, that we, would... we, that, that's not going to help. That's not going to help at all. And you won't be able to find one, the filters or the search box. So just stick to the PokerStars client. Much easier. Well, this is a three-bet situation. Yaroshevsky opens under the gun to 23,000. Jonathan Abdelatif, three bets from the button, re-raising to 75,000. Action now on Smarin in the big blind. He passes. So back on Gary. How's Gary been today? Solid. I mean, obviously, he doesn't have the chip stack he had for days one, two, and three, so he's not been able to apply the same amount of pressure. But he's hovered around the half million mark for most of the day.
Here comes something. This might be the point where, had it not been lost between the Bahamas and Panama, we would be sounding the four bet alert. <laughs> I mean, of all the pieces of luggage to lose, the sound effects box is very integral. There is the four bet from the former chip leader. Wow. Yaroshevsky has put 100K on top. And we are now really in an all in or fold situation. And look at Yaroshevsky's stack, 175,000 in the middle, only 275 behind. You've got to figure this four bet is pretty committing. A five bet shove from Abdel Talif probably has zero fold equity. This, of course, could just be a collision of two monster hands. Could be a cooler.